you know, it's been an interesting few months for me in Southside Wrestling. Haven't spoken that much, kind of been a bit silent. But now it's time for me to break that silence. A few issues, a few things that have been nagging away at me for the past few months. Getting my blood boiling. Number one, and most importantly, Max Angelus. You know, I had a brutal, absolutely brutal, last man standing match against Mark Haskins. We beat each other within an inch of our lives. I had a lump on my head out to here, like a golf ball. I had a concussion, I was tired, I was beaten, but I still won. I still won that match. I still made it to my feet before the 10 count and Mark Haskins didn't. And while I was in the ring with the Southside heavyweight belt raised above my head, what happens? I turn around and get a briefcase right in the face from you, Max. You cashed in your money in the bank and you pinned me. One, two, three. I'd like to say I'm almost proud of you, Max. You know, when this whole thing started between me and you, it was about me trying to bring the best out in you, to give you that killer instinct. And you did. You saw the opportunity and you took it. Well done, Max. But as I was lying there, in pain, I couldn't help but think, maybe this has all come down to bite me in the ass. <laughs> maybe I was getting a little bit too cocky, a little bit too big for my own boots. And now you're the champ, and I'm not. But Max, if you think that this thing is done between us, you are sorely, sorely mistaken. I've just got a little bit distracted, but I'll get back to you. Let me take you onto another man that I'm having a few issues with of late. The Wonder Kid, Johnny Storm. <laughs> now Johnny Storm's an interesting situation. If you followed my career and the, you know, these little interviews that I do for Southside, you know I'm big on respect. And the funny thing is, I used to, used to respect Johnny Storm. When I first got into the wrestling game 11 years ago, Johnny Storm was the man. He was flying all over the world. He had the reputation of being one of the best in the world. But now, he's a shadow of his former self. He panders to the audience. The kids love him, the women love him, the men love him. Well, I don't love him. In fact, I hate him. Not just him, I hate what he's become. He's become a sideshow clown for the fans of British wrestling and Southside wrestling. So you can imagine the insult that I took personally when he was entered into a four-man tournament to crown the number one contender for the Southside title. And he hasn't even won a match here in Southside. Whereas me, I don't get my rematch. I get shoved in the ring with an import, an American, a joke like Cole Cabana. Well, I took care of Cole Cabana. Bye bye Cole. Back to America you go with another loss on your record and another win for me. With Johnny Storm, I saw you wrestling in the final against T-Bone and I just couldn't stand it anymore. I had to make my feelings heard. So I grabbed my chain, I ran out to the ring and I smacked you in the face. And it felt great, I have to admit. 
which brings us to what's just happened. You know, I've calmed down. You probably see on the DVD the state I left the locker room in when Rob Mortman tried to interview me. That was how much you got to me, Johnny. You embarrassed me tonight. You showed the world my ass. <laughs> you, you got a lucky roll-up win on me. And then you ran. You didn't just run. You jumped in your car, drove away, and gave me the finger as you were doing it. Johnny, this whole thing between me and you has been going on a very long time. Not just here in Southside, we have wrestled all over the world. And yes, it's been competitive, but nearly every time I've come out on top. Next time, it's not about who wins. It's not about who gets the hand raised. It's not about who gets the one, two, three. Next time, win, lose or draw, I am hurting you and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Issue number three, just got off the phone. My manager Harvey Dale has found something out. Interesting piece of news. Let me take you back to August of last year. I was wrestling. Mark Haskins for the Southside heavyweight title. The night before, Southside hired an assassin to try and take me out. They hired one of the best wrestlers in the world, Davey Richards, to try and take me out to make sure that I didn't get to that title match. And look what happened. I beat Davey Richards just like I beat Colt Cabana. I sent him back to America. Bye bye, Davey. And then I went on to win the title. Southside's worst nightmare. It seems I'm in that situation again now. But you're not sending an assassin this time. You're sending a stone cold killer. You are sending one of the most brutal wrestlers in America who goes by the name of Kevin Steen. Fair enough. <laughs> I like to say I'm not a little bit worried, but I'm not afraid to say that I am. Now, Kevin Steen's not a wrestler. He's a violent fuck who drops people on their heads and tries to put them out of wrestling forever. That's not what I'm about. I'm about winning matches. I'm about win-loss records, getting the title belt around my waist. You're sending Kevin Steen after me? I'll be ready. Myself, Harvey Dale, the Predators, and any other House of Pain wrestler can back me up. Kevin Steen's coming alone. So if he thinks he's gonna come over to this country and have an easy time with me, I'm gonna show him the violent thug of professional wrestling why they call me the heavyweight house of pain. I'm gonna send him back to America, just like I did Davy Richards, just like I did Colt Cabana. You don't come in to my house and try and injure me. You don't come into my house and try and hurt me. And Kevin Steen, when you're out of the way, Johnny Storm, when you're lying in a hospital bed, that leaves just one person left. And that's you, Max. You enjoy that title reign. You enjoy having that belt around your waist. Because when I'm done with Johnny, and I'm done with Kevin, Max Angelus, you are going to see my killer instinct. And that belt is coming back to me.